London is lagging behind the rest of the country. So the number of people dying in hospital in London is 5% higher than the national average. This afternoon we're meeting to launch an alliance um, of people who are interested in improving end-of-life care for Londoners. So what is unusual but fantastic is it's bringing health and social care together. We're sharing the good practice that is going on in London and I hope during the afternoon we'll identify how we can improve it further so that all Londoners have access to the very best. When you've been with someone for 52 years, 26 days, it's not enough. And I was like a rabbit in the headlights during that initial stage. I was in complete denial. Whilst by and large our experience of end of life under home palliative care went very well, there were still some, some hiccups that were quite painful. And I'm hopeful that events such as this mean that other people won't have to go through similar experiences. Sometimes there are difficulties between the different silos in which we work within social care, within health, the voluntary sector. Um, and one of the things I've learned is that when you bring people together, you can get an excitement and you can get a buzz around a passion to do something better. If you just listen now, you can hear the excitement in the room where people are exchanging their views. And that's for me a really positive thing from today. We've got to stick at this. We've got to make a difference and we've got to make some changes because we can't have people in the future going through the experience that Brian and his wife had. There's been some important messages highlighted about despite the fact that there are uh, lots of people contributing to the care of uh, patients with uh, end of life um, uh, kind of problems, uh, that we still have quite a fragmented system at a time when pe most people really need coordinated, proactive care. will help us hugely in our quest to find out what is it that people who are looking after people at the end of life, really on the front line, want us to do. Just from going around some of the market stores today, there have been some brilliant things that I've learned already on some of the care home projects that are being um, spread around London. Some excellent demonstration of how um, social workers are really thriving to reduce admissions and improve care actually delivered in home. So I'm the GP counterpart and Katie's um, the clever specialist palliative care counterpart and together we, we will aim to hopefully provide an overview between our sort of hospice communities and our acute communities. Catherine and I very much wanted to work together in this lead role to really clearly demonstrate partnership working. We think there is a huge gain from working together across boundaries.